Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. So, as a people that has been destroyed, because a lot of us is all over the place. You got some of us that's been raised as rapists, gang members, dots. We got music that promoted, and we listen to this music and listen and look at these celebrities as as, as God program. You know what I'm saying? So now we have to reprogram them, but we have to reprogram them with the, uh, a certain document. And that's why we uh, we come and subscribe with the Bible because we believe the Bible as a historical uh, manuscript that was given to our people by our Father for us to live by. So, I asked the brothers, what are some solutions to help to stop the crime in the black community? To help the youth from being murderous the way they are. What are some solutions you have? Economics. I think it all boils down to economics. Economics? Yeah, I think that's where it starts. Um, once there's business established, they can start improving the area with the income, you know what I mean? And just give people more things to do. And it, it would be easy to be an example if you was a, you know, if you had a business and you could give your son something to do, give your children something to do, if you had a business, you could put your kids and, you know, give them everything that they need. Okay, I, I like I think that. It starts with economics. I like I like that economics is a part. I don't believe that it's the first part, right? Because here's the thing, and this is this is where that problem, this is where the problem arises at. All right, so you don't know me from a can of paint, but I'm a businessman. Now I want to do business with you, but you don't know that I'm a thief. You see what I'm saying? Right. So now, here it is, you get into business with me. We've been in business for five, six years together. Yeah. I, done, I done showed you that I'm a good, honest man, but lo and behold, I've been plotting on you the whole time. Right. So now, I come up with a scheme to take everything. How would you do that? And I'm just saying though, because the, the reason why I say that is because you said the first thing is economics. Right. But I think the first thing we have to work on is the morality, the, civ the, civ the, the mindset of the people first. That's true. You, because, because look, if I'm here's the thing, because you don't know me from a can of paint. You have children, right? Yeah. You have daughters, right? Would you, if you allow me around your daughters, you know what I'm saying, knowing that I'm a rapist? Nah, but that's not really how business works. No, 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 no. I get you, but you said because the, remember what the question I asked: how to stop the, the the violence in our community? Right. You said the first thing we should do is economics. Yeah. That starts there first. Right. Based off today, we've done everything that you suggested has been going on until today. Only like what? Black people have except economic opportunity. Okay. So we have churches. Right. We have good grandmothers and parents and teachers. What we're supposed right. To do. But it's because niggas is broke that they gotta get on the street hustle and that needs to violence. Okay. Because I know a lot of brothers that's not broke and they still still in violence and they teach their kids that. It's like a, it's, I, it's a condition. I, right. Right. It's a condition. It's, condition. it's a mindset. Financial. Because we don't have our own, so we have to do what we gotta do. Now, don't get me wrong, bro. Economics is a part of the solution. I'm not saying that it's not. I just don't agree that it's the first part. I think our minds gotta get right first. I, I say, how do we get our minds right? No, nah, I'm showing you. I'm gonna show you. How do we that, do that without school? Because we got our parents and we got home. What, what, how do we do that without like education on how our actions affect the world? Right. Because we gotta gather ourselves together first, right? Once we gather ourselves together and we see that, hey, look, man, we both agree that we don't agree with the conditions of our people. How do we come up with a solution on that, right? Give me the Deuteronomy uh, 10 to 12. So, there, there, you, you got a washing machine or a cell phone or anything like that, right? Right. What did it come with when you bought it? Man. Came with a manual, instruction manual. Receipt. And a, right, and a receipt. And a bill. And a bill. <laughs> <laughs> right. But the most important thing is how to operate. Yeah. So, as a people that has been destroyed, because a lot of us is all over the place. You got some of us that's been raised as rapists, gang members, dots. We got music that promoted, and we listen to this music and listen and look at these celebrities as, as, as God program. You know what I'm saying? So now we have to reprogram them, but we have to reprogram them with the, a, a certain document. And that's why we, I, we come and subscribe with the Bible, because we believe the Bible as a historical uh, manuscript that was given to our people by our Father for us to live by. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. 
And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So God requires of us Israel as his children. Read on. But to fear the Lord thy God to walk in all his ways. So we have to fear the Lord and walk in all his ways. So walking in his ways and fearing him is showing great respect and walking in the ways, the rules that he set for us to walk in. Because he did tell us to gather together. He did tell us to what? To uh, Give me that in uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 28. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 4. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, and to all that are carried away captives. Because we've been carried away captives. We was carried on the four corners of the globe. You know what I'm saying? Through slavery. Read that. Whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem. Read verse 5. Build ye houses. So God told us to build ye houses. Build houses. How do we do that without money, right? We gotta, we gotta have money. We gotta have commerce. We gotta have a sense of business. We gotta have, uh, we gotta have some type of trade, right? So we, so economics is important. So the Bible does say that. Build ye houses. Read on. And dwell in them. We have to dwell in them. Meaning we have to be in a household to raise our children. We just can't have houses, put women in there, have sex with them, and then go home. No, we gotta be there to raise our children up. Read on. And plant gardens. We have to what? Get into agriculture. We have to what? Feed ourselves off the fruit of the land. You see what I'm saying? So I agree with what you're saying. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.